Good morning, Harrison Central. Would you please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. I'm Peyton with the Morning News. Congratulations to the varsity softball team on defeating Indian Creek last night. Congratulations to the junior high boys track team for bringing home second place trophy for the Union Local Invitational last evening. The next junior high track meet will be tomorrow at Buckeye Trail. Please check your Google Classroom invitation. Ms. Doran has sent out invites to all students who qualified for the, for the National Junior Honor Society and the National Honor Society. If you have qualified, please fill out an application by Friday, April 16th for the faculty council to review. Students will find out by April 27th if they are accepted. If you've already been inducted, you do not have to fill out another application. If you feel that you have met the 3.5 GPA academic requirements to join and were not included in the Google Classroom, please see Ms. Doran today. Let's take a break and send it to James with the lunch and birthday. Good morning, I'm James with the lunch and birthdays. For lunch today, we'll be having pizza, and for the birthday, we have Cecil Gibson. Now let's send it back to Lexi with an interview. Hi, I'm Lexi, and today I'm here with Mr. Dunlap and Ms. Hawthorne, and we're going to give you a few updates about prom. But before we start, I'd like to thank the administration and Board of Education for hosting prom this year. Mr. Dunlap, what time will promenade start, and what is the route? Uh, promenade this year is going to start at 6 o'clock, um, so students can start lining up a little bit before that. We're asking that all students come in the staff entrance where the school buses come in in the morning, so it would be the second entrance off of Route 9 and wrap yourself around the back of the school and then we'll line up and come back across the front of the school after that. Um, just makes it a little bit easier to keep everybody in line. Thank you. Honest. So what are the guidelines for spectators? So spectators this year for the promenade will not be allowed to enter the building. So what we're planning to do is have all of uh, the spectators, if you're here, to line up on the curbside away from the school, line that side of the uh, front roadway uh, we're going to have some parking spots and stuff blocked off there for uh, spectators to stand and they can watch right outside. So when you get out of your car uh, at the promenade, um, we have an announcer going to announce your name as you come up, just kind of like we do uh, inside the gym in past years. Uh, but we're going to do all that outside so the spectators can stay outside. We do ask that the spectators outside, you know, observe the same safety protocol. So stay socially distanced, keep a mask on if you can. Thank you. Ms. Hawthorne, what goes on when we enter? After entering the building, you're going to go directly into the gym uh, where you'll have your photos taken and then you'll go to the door which is next to the concession stand window and someone will be there to seat you at your table. Okay, and what time is dinner and what will be offered? Dinner is scheduled to start at 7 o'clock and you will have the choice. At first you'll have uh, iced tea, lemonade or water to drink and then a garden salad with either ranch or Italian dressing. Your dinner options are roast beef and gravy with um, mashed potatoes, uh, green beans and a roll, or uh, chicken parmesan with penne, pasta, green beans, and a roll, and then cupcakes for dessert. Thank you. And when will prom royalty be announced? The royalty will be announced between dinner and dancing. And how long is prom? Prom will be finished at 10 o'clock. Okay, thank you. Mr. Dunlap, what are the social distancing rules? Yeah, so this is the sticking point that everybody I'm sure is wondering what's going to happen. Um, guys, uh, unfortunately in today's society letting us even have this, we have to wear face masks the whole time unless you're seated for dinner. Um, during dancing and times like that, we're going to ask that you keep your masks on, maintain social distancing as best we can um, throughout the entire evening. Um, safety comes first, even in uh, these kind of situations, but we want everybody to have a great time and uh, something they can remember as well. Alrighty, thank you. The Harrison Central Color Guard invites anyone in grades 7 through 11 to learn and audition for this upcoming marching band season. Clinics will be held on April 20th through the 23rd in the elementary gym from 4.30 to 6 o'clock. Tonight, the varsity baseball and softball team is at home against Beaver Local. Good luck to all teams. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and have a good day.